Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. In this short video I want to show you how to hide the table action or make it visible depending on the values of the table filters. So a typical practical example would be restore action, restore button for soft deletes and those soft deletes would be visible in the filter of viewing only deleted records without deleted records or with deleted records. And as you can see in those other cases that restore isn't visible. It's visible only in case of only deleted records are shown. Let me show you the code. The filter itself is one of the pre-built filters of filament called trashed filter. So for those of you who don't know, if you go to the documentation of table filters, you can not only do filter make, but use one of the pre-built filters. One of them is trashed filter that you can find in the documentation of ternary filters. So that's one thing. But then another thing is visible method on the restore action. Restore action is another pre-built thing of filament. So it's not just action, it's restore action for soft deletes. And visible method is familiar to us probably from examples like this. For example, authorization. So we can make action, any action actually in not table only, but anywhere visible with some conditions. So can user access that button, for example? Or another example could be in the table actions in another section of the documents, action visible depending on the record. So visible for a specific line of the table. But many of you probably would not know, and let's close the sidebar for this, is that visible callback function may accept live wire component. The full live wire component that has access to the filters of the table with a specific method live wire get table filter state. It is in the API docs of filament. By the way, did you know that filament has API docs containing all the methods and other parameters? So yeah, there's a method and we can use that in this way. So get table filter state trashed would return the array of values. And then if we get the value, we can compare that to any value and return that as Boolean. That's exactly what visible is expecting. So this is the syntax. If the value of the filter field we're interested in is certain zero, for example, then that restore action is visible. What do you think? Maybe it's overcomplicated. Maybe you know a better way. Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.